right so looks like as per the documentation I need to start out from here composer okay let me check in CMD oh, shit! hello guys what's up welcome back to my channel I'm posting this video after a long time and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up PHP and composer on your local Windows machine so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that you need to do is go to the website php.net oh I'm sorry php.net uh, Google gets that once you are over there just go ahead and hit on downloads and as you are on Windows platform just go ahead to the Windows downloads I'm not going to go through the PHP installation process that much just go ahead and download this uh, zip file uh, you can if you are on 32 bit you can download x86 based file or if you are on a ma uh, on a 64 bit machine like me uh, you can download x64 best so I already downloaded it I had downloaded a thread safe version and once you have downloaded it just extract it somewhere for me I have extracted it to local disk C and PHP so here are all the files that you need so the next thing that you want to do go to that particular folder and go ahead to the php.ini-development now what you want to do is simply go ahead and copy it and paste it again once you have done that just rename it to php.ini now that I already have it it's showing me some sort of error so I'm just going to press no um, and let me delete this file so this file when you open up php.ini uh, well actually it will not show any kind of extension if you do not have extensions enabled in Windows uh, but it will generally show uh, this kind of uh, icon over there and it will say configuration settings so you want to go ahead and go it down uh, well actually let's just find that particular thing and what we want is open SSL which is required by composer so at first it's over here now when you are doing this just make sure to remove this colon over here which will be by default it will be there I have already removed it so uh, there was no need for, for me to remove it uh, and let's just close this so the next thing that you want to do to install composer is go to get composer dot org so once you are over there maybe my internet connection is a little slow today once you are over there just go ahead and hit on this download button over here and once you hit go over there uh, just go ahead and install this composer setup so now that I already have it installed uh, it will just ask you for a few things uh, let me check if I can install it again um, it's over here just hit on next and it will ask you to choose the command line PHP that we would love to use so that that is where our PHP folder comes in the play so it's in PHP folder where you extracted it and just go to that php.exe for me it is c colon backslash php backslash php.exe so that wasn't that hard just hit on open hit on next it will check that and just hit on next uh, don't care about the proxy server uh, well if you have the proxy if you are behind the proxy just pro put, uh, put in their proxy URL or else you might get uh, some kind of error that you know it might not be able to reach github or some sort of that error I don't exactly know next install and it will run the composer install script now there might be a point when you will get some sort of error that open SSL extension is not enabled now I got it at first so that's why I'm, I have already shown you that you can go ahead and download uh, uh, I'm sorry I'm, you can go ahead and uh, remove that comment uh, and op uh, turn on the extension open SSL so now that it has completed just hit on finish so now if I try to open my command prompt and let me 
type in here composer I should be able to see the list of files so that's it for this video stay tuned for the next one thank you